right, hey guys, Mr. Kyle Myers Mathematics, and let's just jump into it. We're trying to find the curl of the function f, which is defined as a function of x, y, and z, equal to z, comma, x squared plus y squared, comma, x minus z squared. So in order to find the curl when we're in three dimensions using three different uh, uh, letters here, um, we basically do like a determinant of a three by three matrix. So it's, it's the formula for this, for the curl of the function, comes from, you have the i, the j, and the k vector. And if you're finding the curl, it's like, okay, what's, what's the change in x, y, and z? So what's the, the partial derivative of x, y, and z and for for what for e for the, all the different um different directions as well so their x y and z direction but also for the functions that determine uh x y and z direction as well so the the let's say the p function the q function and the r function so that um, so that we can figure out that curl. So in, in, like, like in two dimensions, you might say, okay, so, so if you have a point, you're going like this, and then like, you know, it'd be curling that way, and, or, or you might be, you know, going like this, and then like that, and so there's, there's like, you know, like this, and it's like, so it's, 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 it's swirling, right? There's like a swirl motion going on. So if you're, if you're going, you know, what's, what's the function in that direction, doing that function, Q, what's happening as I go right, as I go in the X direction, what's what's that function doing? So that would be the, uh, the partial derivative with respect to X of the function Q. So that, that direction right there. And then the other one is the partial derivative with respect to Y of the negative P function because we're going left. So that, that's kind of a way to think about it in 2D space. So we're trying to figure out the curl or the swirl of, of, of you know, how everything is flowing. So we're, we're looking at flow state. And that's basically what we do. So if we're going to do the, the determinant of the matrix, it's going to be the I vector multiplied by the determinant of, of this, this 2 by 2 matrix right here. So that's going to be the partial derivative of Y of R. So it's going to be the partial of R with respect to y minus the partial of uh, q with respect to z. So then I have that. And then we minus the j vector. So for the j vector, I would be doing uh, this first column right there and right there. Not the whole column, but just those, those parts that I circled there. So minus the j vector, now that's going to be the partial derivative of x, um, partial derivative with respect to x of the function r, so that's uh, the partial of r with respect to x, minus the partial of p with respect to z. All right. And I've got some other, some other writings down below there from previous problems, because I'm kind of just using this as my scratch paper here. So ignore those other those other colors it's from previous problems so i j uh i the j and then we have the k vector next so we have the k vector and the k is going to be this last uh two by two matrix right here so that's going to be the partial derivative of q with respect to x so the partial derivative of q with respect to x and then that's going to be minus the partial derivative of p with respect to z minus the partial derivative of p with respect to z. Hold on, I should not have that twice, should I? Okay, p with respect to z. Oh, sorry, partial derivative of p with respect to y. I apologize. I thought that looked off. There we go. Partial derivative of p with respect to y. Okay. And so, so notice that all of them are all different. Um, I have a partial derivative of r with respect to x and y. I have a partial derivative of p with respect to z and y. 
and then I have a partial derivative of q with respect to x and z. So nothing should be repeated. That's one way to check for it is that there should be no repeats. That's why I knew that something was off there. I was like, hold on, I have that twice. And then we go ahead and, uh, and, and do this here. So um, we have p, q, and r. This is a little laggy here. p, q, and r. And for those p, q's, and r's, we want to take the derivatives with respect to x, y, and z uh, according to what we've got here. So uh, partial derivative of r with respect to y. Well, there's no y variable, so that one's just going to be 0. Then partial derivative of q with respect to z, there's no z variable, so that's just going to be 0 again. Oh, all right, all right. So we got that going on there. Minus j. So, you know, that, that whole thing's going to go away, by the way. So there's not going to be an i vector uh, part to that. Then partial of r with respect to x. So that's just going to be 1. Minus partial of p with respect to z. Ah, 1 again. So that's 0 also. OK. I wonder if the other one's going to be 0. Let's see. Partial of q with respect to x, that's going to be 2x. OK. And then minus partial of p with respect to y. Partial of p with respect to y. There's no y variable there, so that would be a 0. So it looks like we almost got 0, but this one ended up being 2x. Let me double check that real quick. So partial of q, yeah, it looks good. OK. So, so basically, the, the curl is that we have um, a 0 in the i direction. So we have a 0i. Tab, tab. So I'm typing it in now. A 0 of j. Um, hold on. Yeah, there's the i, there's the j. OK, they're just, it's, it's just, it looks like it's in the wrong spot or something for some reason. And then for the k vector, we've got 2x. Now, they're not asking for the curl of f at a specific point. So we would leave it alone if they told us what's the curl of the function f at the point like 1, 1, 1, or 2, 3, 5, or you know, whatever. Um, then we would plug in numbers, and then we would have a, a specific uh, thing. But let me go ahead and check that. And there we go. We got it. So, oh, you guys can't see that it said great work, but it did. It says great work. There, I'll move it over for you. Because it's just weird. Oh, it's still covered up. Grr. All right. Well, you'll just have to trust me that underneath my face, <laughs> it says that we got it. You can kind of see it on here, too. If we go next one. Oh, it's not even showing it. That's weird, because at the bottom, normally it shows it. But you know, we got it. So <laughs> that was that first question. We'll just do one for today. Um, but I'll probably do more like this. Uh, if you guys like this, if it looks like uh, people are, are uh, benefiting from these Calc 3 questions, which I don't do a lot of Calc 3 stuff, because I just I don't get requests for Calc 3 as much. But uh, I'm tutoring people this semester in Calc 3. Um, it's been a little bit, because Calc 3 is just not as requested as Calc 2. I do a lot of Calc 2. Not as much Calc 3. So if, uh, if, you guys, if you guys are watching this and, and you share it with other people and they view it and it looks like you know, people like this content, then I'll definitely make more Calc 3 stuff. So just uh, give me some feedback. Let me know if you like it or not. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, and uh, if you want to get more content aside from YouTube, I've got stuff on my website as well, myersmathematics.com. Link is in the description below. And you can check that out. Uh, like the five math mistakes everyone makes and how to avoid them. That's a free PDF I have on my website, Myers Mathematics, that you can go and grab. So with that, I will catch you in the next video. Blessings, y'all.